Hi there and welcome. Uh, welcome to today's uh, live streaming tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be drawing Asgore from Undertale. So uh, what we're going to do differently is that um, we're going to be drawing him facing, facing us. It's a little different from my past few drawings. Now I just gotta bring up my reference. So uh what we're gonna do differently is that Oops. Okay. Okay, I've arranged that. So, uh, as you can see, I've already gotten started on the placement of uh, what his body shape is going to look like. He's a big guy, so obviously he's going to have a very large body. So, so the way I'm getting the effect of him facing us is by is by having the chest somewhat round having the effect of like some uh, dimension and I'm gonna curve this eyepiece so that it's more looking the head looks a little downward There's like a lot of extra, <laughs> extra um, um, uh, eraser shavings from like the last video. Okay, drawing your shoulder pads. Using this line to help me uh, get an idea about how f how far tipped, how high the tip should be. little symbol here. I might extend the neck and head a little lower.
adding the little uh, I think it's simple almost almost supposed to be like some sort of feathers or wings or whatever then he's got a little gem here Okay, now to work on his head. Now from this section here where I placed the eyes, I'm gonna have his little cheekbones come out from here. Now that we have an idea about where his uh, jawline should be, we can start drawing the beard around that. Drawing his little crown here. I'm gonna make it so that you could see like the back end of the crown. Raise the nostrils a little bit. This section here is going to be where uh, his this little opening for his mouth. No, wait, no, not under, it's over. Maybe I just have him smile. Yeah. Okay. 
then I'm gonna have his beard extend a little bit from there. I don't, I don't know how thick his beard normally would be. I'm just gonna use the follow the guide that I created with from his chin to just simply add a small extension. I believe these are probably his goat ears. Okay, and now to add his little um, horns. These are going to be little details of like horn, horn details for later. Adding a little bit of shine to his eyes. Yeah. Just gonna add some minor detail. Hmm. See if there's anything else that we should we need to add. And it seems he has like this little this little section here where like his cape has gives him a little he has a little like uh, a little neck uh, a neck section to his cape.
Okay, and with that, we can get started on inking. Hold on. Did we quit it? Get out of here. Get out of here. Keep messing up. Uh, my cat keeps messing with the blinds.
mean, my cat is very persistent. My cat just won't stop messing with the blinds. Okay, I'm going to do some erasing and then I'm going to see what other sort of details that I could add to this. Okay, let's see how are we on time. Okay. Okay, I'll start adding, I'll start using my uh, thin tip sharpie uh, to do the finer, finer details. I'm just gonna assume there's like a little, little tug on like this, um, on his collar here, since it's connected to his cape.
I'll be adding little shines here and there. So what I've been doing with the details on this, on the other side of the horn, is that I do a line and then have another line that has like um, a break in it. Okay, now I'm going to start adding a bit of hair detail. And since his hair is somewhat um, shaggy, like uh, instead of straight lines like I did with uh, other people's hair, it's going to be having like little zigzags in it. So I would do the same thing like I did with normal hair, except this time is just making it look like there's a zigzag line that goes throughout the hair.
be gonna be adding a bit of tones of shadow here and there. I'm sure there's like a crystal here or something. In the base of the crown. Yes. With these little short lines here, I mean trying to give off an indication that, you know, he does have hair on his face. Like, I'm sort of using the nose as a guideline. <coughs> like, start from the middle of the face and then going outward. Okay. And with that, I'll try adding a bit of shine to certain sections of his armor, like I did with Undyne. Be sure to check out that video as well.
So as you can see, I'm trying my best not to touch any of the other lines with this um, armor uh, like effect that I'm giving.
is just a very tedious film. Goodness, how much time has passed? Oh, 45 minutes, okay. Well, I gotta wrap this up. This drawing took longer than expected. Okay, I'm gonna change things up. Bring out a new Sharpie. I should have used this during the beginning. But basically, this is one of those dry erase markers. Um, you can get you can get these real cheap. Um, if you go to five and below, they sell like a pack of four. For like uh, three bucks. Okay, just gonna add some minor details here.
Okay, and with that, we are good. Hope you enjoyed this uh, live streaming tutorial. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more of these uh, drawing videos. Leave a comment if you, uh, you know, if there's a certain character you'd like me to draw. Um, you know, uh, you'll find a scanned version of this. I'll leave a link to a scanned version of this that's going to end up at my Twitter at some point in the near, f near future. Um, be sure to check out my comic, uh, Don the Mask. If you're, you know, if you're into crime and mysteries, detectives, salt, you know, detectives, stuff and bad guys, this and that, um, maybe this comic is for you. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you again next time for more drawing tutorials. See you later and, oh wait, uh, I have to fix this. See you and bye.